there's a new value for the CSS overflow property that's so fresh. The feature policy API has been like renamed to permissions policy. And you can now construct shadow roots declaratively. Oh yeah! Doing it 90s style. I'm Pete LePage. I've got the 411 on Chrome 90 for developers. CSS is all that and a bag of chips. Wait. I think every developer has seen or experienced this at some point. There's a great post on CSS tricks about different ways to handle overflow. For example, using overflow hidden or auto. In the CSS overflow spec, there's a new clip property that works similarly to hidden. With overflow clip, you can prevent any type of scrolling for the box, including programmatic scrolling. That means the box is not considered a scroll container and it doesn't start a new formatting context, giving it better performance than overflow hidden. You can also apply clipping to a single access via overflow X or overflow Y. Oh, and FYI, there's also overflow clip margin, which allows you to expand the clip border, useful for cases where you want the ink to overflow to be visible. Back in Chrome 74, we introduced the Feature Policy API, which allows you to selectively enable, disable, and modify certain APIs and features within the browser. These policies are a contract between you and the browser. They inform the browser about what your intent is. If your code or any of the libraries that you use violate those predefined rules, the browser overrides the behavior with better UX or just says, talk to the hand blocking the API altogether. Starting in Chrome 90, the Feature Policy API will be renamed to Permissions Policy, and the HTTP header has been renamed along with it. At the same time, the community has settled on a new syntax based on structured field values for HTTP. If you're interested in how to use this on your site, check out the article linked in the post. Shadow DOM. Part of the Web Components standard provides a way to scope CSS styles to a specific DOM subtree and isolate that subtree from the rest of the document. Until now, the only way to use Shadow DOM was to construct a shadow root using JavaScript. That works fine for client-side rendering, but not so well in server-side, where there's no built-in way to express shadow roots in server-generated HTML. But starting in Chrome 90, using the declarative Shadow DOM, you're good to go. You can create shadow roots using only HTML. A declarative shadow root is a template element with a shadow root attribute. It's detected by the HTML parser and immediately applied as the shadow root of its parent element. Loading the pure HTML markup results in this DOM tree. This gives us the benefits of shadow DOMs encapsulation and slot projection in static HTML. Plus, there's no JavaScript needed to produce the entire tree, including the shadow root. Check the article on web.dev for more details. Of course, there's plenty more. To help improve privacy and loading speeds for users, Chrome's address bar will now default to HTTPS by default. If you haven't set up HTTPS, now would be a good time to do that. And an AV1 encoder is available in Chrome Desktop. It's specifically optimized for video conferencing with WebRTC integration. Is that, is that something on the lens, Sean? Do you, do you... All the deets, including links, docs, and specs are in the post linked from the description. Before you bounce, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools videos or any of our other Mother Language Day videos. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 91 is released, I'll be like right here to tell you, like, what's new in Chrome?